my name's Emily, and welcome back to the next in our series of giant panda keeper logs here at the Memphis Zoo. Now, obviously, these aren't giant pandas. I'm working with the California sea lions today, and the reason for that is we're going to be talking about training. Now, the California sea lions are the best example of training we have here at the zoo. Uh, what's seen most by the public, because we do have three sea lion shows every day. Let's see if we can get Chloe to show off a little bit more. Let's go down to the China exhibit so we can see how our training works with the giant pandas, especially how we're able to train Yaya, our female giant panda, for an ultrasound procedure. What we have here is a bowl full of apples. Apples are a very important part of the training we do here with the pandas because uh, they're a favorite treat. The pandas love them, they love to eat them, and so every day we prepare apples fresh and uh, use them for our training sessions. A lot of people think that during Yaya's ultrasound training, she is sedated. Actually, Yaya is fully awake, um, and through the training that we do at the zoo, uh, we've gotten her to be able to lay back for up to five minutes um, and just let us do the ultrasound procedure on her. She's a very good bear. She's very calm the whole time. We've got a very talented staff of panda trainers uh, that have been working with her for about four years now to do this behavior. How does training work? Let's go take an inside look with our giant pandas. So we're here with Yaya, our female giant panda. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the training. It's a form of training called operant conditioning that we use with our pandas. Um, to kind of simply state it, there's three steps to the training. Uh, the first step is where we give the pandas a cue. It's usually a hand signal that we use. So, for instance, we'll see if Yaya, do you want to open up your mouth? There's her teeth. All right, the next step is you heard a click. Well, that's with this clicker. Um, that's called a bridge, and it lets the pandas know they've done the right thing. And the final part is their reward. This tasty apple we talked about earlier that the pandas love, well, that's the ultimate reward for doing the behavior correctly. And here's our girl. Hey, Yaya, you want to lay back? You want to lay back? All right, this is a very important thing to teach Yaya for her ultrasound training. Um, this way you can get a good look at her belly that we had shaved for the procedures. Um, and Yaya will lay in this position for about five minutes at a time while we do the procedure on her. Now we're here with Lola, the male giant panda. He does a lot of behavior similar to Yaya. So for instance, hey Lola, can you open up your mouth? Uh, Lola is also able to present his paws for us. Let's see your paws. And he's able to get a good nail trim every once in a while. And again, through this training, uh, we don't need to sedate him. Uh, he's perfectly willing to hold his paw up there for us. And we can trim those nails. I'm glad we're able to give you an inside look at the training we do here with our giant pandas. As you can see, it's fun for us trainers, and the bears enjoy it too. 